Hello friend, my name is Asindra, and today I'm going to be playing for you A Chase in Rainsville by somebody I forgot to look it up. Damn it. I'm sure it'll be at the end. If not, I'll look it up at the end. Um, today I have with me Max. Yay! Yay! So let's begin. It is another day, ordinary day in Rainsville. Or so it seems. In one small house by the river near a hill, home to the retired chefs Crow and Crane, a young person begins their day with a goal. It's time. Time to clean. The house has been dirty for far, far too long. And by too long, you mean since yesterday. So you take it upon yourself to start cleaning early so you can relax later. Yay. Walking into the kitchen, washcloth and soap in hand, you start to clean the stove and counter. You realize that you probably need a broom to wipe the floor. You head over towards the closet that is near the pantry since your grandparents like to cook. Uh, oops. <clears throat> since your grandparents like to cook, they keep a lot of ut old utensils and cleaning supplies nearby at the ready. Opening the closet door, your eyes lands on the huge and rusty cooking pot inside. This thing is so big, and I don't think Grandma or Grandpa ever even use it. It's been here forever. The pot looks like it's made of old steel, and its cover ha uh, has a thin layer of dust from its stay in the closet. You wipe it off with your washcloth out of pity. Aww. You stare at the pot, admiring its nice shape and sturdiness. Okay, falling in love with pot. <laughs> this pot doesn't belong anywhere. It's kind of useless. Poor little guy. Maybe I can donate it somewhere? Anyway, I'll start with the table. As you start wiping the table, you hear a voice calling your name from the hallway. Oh, my name is Asindra. <laughs> Asindra, we're going to go to the market. We'll be back in two hours. Do you want anything while we're there? I'm okay. Thank you for asking. Have fun at the market. Okay. Take care of the house, little one. <laughs> I will. You can you turn to continue cleaning the kitchen and set out to rid this entire house from germs. La 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 <laughs> na 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 wa 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 wa. <laughs> hmm. The pot. Where's the cooking pot? <sighs> oh, how did it get over there? Hmm. Eh. It grew legs! Oh my god. <laughs> uh, hey! Get back here! Come back! The cooking pot scrambles out, of, out into the hallway and you hear it bang on the door. You jump into the hallway after it. The door is still there. Uh, the door is there. Still there. Uh, <laughs> the door is there, wide open, and you see the big pot running into the road. If the onto door the was road. not still there, that would be alarming. <laughs> <laughs> right? What? G Grandma and Grandpa are going to be suspicious if I told them the cooking pot just ran away. I mean, it did. You start to dash towards the door. Yeah, but how believable is that? You're like, what Not the hell me. have you been smoking? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get that cooking pot. You've addled your brain on the cleaning fluids. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Wait for me. You chase the cooking pot into town, where, where you almost lose sight of it among the few patches of people walking by the sidewalk. How is nobody questioning this pot? I don't know. <laughs> it's just an ordinary day in Rainsville. <laughs> A dog barks loudly, and soon enough, the others are pointing at the normally inanimate object scampering through the road. Oh, so they are noticing. <laughs> you yell at the pot. Please don't hurt anybody while running. And please come back. The cooking pot swerves off the sidewalk and begins running down the road, careful uh, careful to avoid people and carriages heading to and from town. It zigzags to different stores, stopping just short of entering them and speeding off in another direction to do the same thing somewhere else. You then see the cooking pot run off 
in the direction of the... Where should we go? Let's go to the beach. Okay. <laughs> Whoa! Why is it heading out of town? <laughs> Come back here! <laughs> you wanna be the male bun? Sure. That looks like... Blank of them. All of them? <laughs> Oh, all of them. Sorry, there's no words there. Um, that looks like all of them. A lot more than expected. Haha. <laughs> Thanks for your help, Captain. Don't worry about it, har har. It's me job. <laughs> Always happy to help with the international post. Arr, but I left one of me hats back in uh, Izania, you know? While picking up one of the boxes, and I left it right there on the docks. A disaster. Oh no, I'm sorry. Do you only have that hat now? Ha ha, I've got plenty of hats, but twas a nice one that's all, all the same. Shame to see it be forgotten there. It was me first captain's hat. If someone can go across to ocean for and it for me... <laughs> the ocean and it for me? <laughs> for for me? <laughs> That'd be a gift from the heavens, ha ha. Ha ha. Haha, <laughs> well, I'm glad you still have one now, Captain. I'm not going across the ocean for you. <laughs> well, a captain wouldn't be a captain without one. Yeah, he would. Hmm? Did you send another postal worker out here to help out? Smart thinking, lad. Huh? There's someone running over here. Huh? Watch out, there's a rampaging pot on the loose. What was that? <laughs> ah, hello. Sorry for interrupting, but have you seen a large cooking pot? About yay high, two handles, chicken legs. <laughs> chicken legs. Yes, I saw it run to the beach, and I think it's here somewhere. I haven't seen it. <clears throat> sorry. I haven't seen any sort of pot or anything running at all. I'm sorry. I'll let you know if I see one on my route, though. I see. Thank you. You're a mail carrier? My name is Buddy. I'm the mail bun. I use he pronouns, too. Oh. Oh, I'm a Syndra with they. Yes! <laughs> yes, that that's correct. Sorry, <laughs> anyway. Nice to meet you, and, uh... Arr, I'm Captain Crab, owner of the Great Voyager, the Wind Rider. I'm she... Oh, Lass or lad? Oh. Lass? Har, it's good to meet you, lass. How about no? Yeah, how about... Lass... Lad. L lad... Fuck. <laughs> Just call me Law. <laughs> ah. I'm here handing off important packages from overseas to this mail bun. The crab waves one of her claws to the parcel to the parcels between them. Sorry, I was looking away. <laughs> you notice that there is also a rowboat in the pier near them, tied to one of the dock pi uh, pilings. Pi piles? Okay. Yep, I'm here to pick them up. Some of these are for the Duke himself. <clears throat> Buddy laughs proudly and pats one of the small parcels with a very loud thud. Oh, I see. Sounds like a very important job. Don't patronize me, miss. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Excuse me, but I'm going to keep looking for that pot. Let me know if you ever see... You process the past few seconds and realize that the thud didn't come from Buddy hitting the parcel. You're at... Oh, You're... Phew, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Your eyes wander past them and onto the rowboat. Yeah, ye okay, lass? There! Huh? <laughs> that cooking pot right there! Come back! I love the... the... face. They turn around in time to see the cooking pot leap out from inside the rowboat. Hey, how'd you get in there? Is that... a cooking pot? Hey! <laughs> Whoa! Excuse me. It scrambles off the dock and onto the ground, kicking up sand and dirt into the air. Wait! <laughs> Whoa, hold there, 
be careful. Wait a sec, I uh, have work. Oh, hold on, I'm coming. <clears throat> <laughs> ah, w where are you going? The cooking pot. I was I was expecting you to read that. Um, the cooking pot abruptly changes direction and zooms right past you. It scrambles down to the pier again and speeds uh, speeds by the rowboat. You wonder if it's trying to stay near the shore. I have a lot of trouble not reading narration because I'm used to it. <laughs> do you do you want to start reading? No, it's okay. okay. I'm, I'm practicing not reading the narration because I do like it when the others read narration because I get to do voices then. <laughs> I enjoy doing my voices. <clears throat> you notice the cooking pot is slowly running closer and closer to the edge of the pier. Huh? Wait, wait! The cooking pot jumps into the ocean. <laughs> the sound just cut. <laughs> <laughs> N no! Why? <laughs> wow, that thing's got guts. There he goes! <laughs> you look defeatedly as the pot begins to swim farther from the dock. You're not sure if you really want to swim after it. Oh no, I'm sorry about your cooking pot. Maybe you can buy a new one sometime? Yeah, I know a few places abroad that sell the sturdiest ones. But wait, we can't just let it swim across the ocean. I need to catch this pot. Ah, is it important? What's special about it? I'm in love with it. <laughs> oh, it is, kind of, because... Um... Oh. Oh, I thought it said something else instead of homie. <laughs> <laughs> because it's horny and good for cooking. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Let's do that one! Alright. It's very homey and good for cooking. It's... it's Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> it's big enough to make food for a whole group of people. It's pretty useful. It's been in our house for a long time, but... You start to mumble to yourself quietly. To be honest, I don't really know why it's special. Why am I going after this pot in the first place if it wants nothing to do with me? Arr, don't worry about it. If it's important to you, it's important, and that's that. If you really want to get that one, let's get on it. Come on, lass. The captain points her claws in the direction of the rowboat. Let's sail. <laughs> sail? W what? That rabbit does not look <laughs> like it wants to sail. <laughs> <clears throat> it's not a sea rabbit. Buddy hops timidly inside the rowboat, and you quickly follow suit. You situate yourself across from him. Out on the pier, the captain starts to click her claws. She skitters up to the side of the boat, untying the rope that held the- How? 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 Sorry. Untying the rope that, uh, to the dock- That held it to the dock piling. Pi- Pi- Piling? Whatever. With the rope untied, <laughs> she hops inside and clocks her claw- cl cl Clacks her claws again. Fuck this. Are you okay there? I have I have dyslexia, to be honest. Oh, okay. <laughs> so this is kind of interesting and fun. Yeah. I thought for a second you were having a stroke, so... <laughs> uh, the oars that were attached to the side of the boat float up to the air. Whoa. <clears throat> With a large thud rocking, uh, rocking from the boat side to side, the oars swing forward by themselves. The boat rushes forward. Magic. Whoa. <laughs> You know magic? Whoa! Careful, Captain! You know, if we get this bunny wet, it's not gonna get dry ever, and it will die. <laughs> yep. Cause that's what happens when you put water on bunnies. I I've never been on a boat before! Wahaha! <laughs> of course it's magic! You think I sailed this boat here by myself with these crusty claws? <laughs> and no worries, me trusty male one. I'll b take it nice and easy for ya. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> you lean over the edge to refix your gaze on the cooking pot. You see it swimming farther than it was before, but you notice it's slowly sinking as well. It's taking on water. <laughs> you point in its direction. There it is! I think it's sinking too. 
Ah, rat! It might be taking in water! <laughs> well, we have to hurry! Onwards, little boat! <laughs> the rowboat shoves off into the ocean, heading straight for the cooking pot, bobbing up and down in the distance. Though the boat is rowing as fast as it can, while it's still be oh, <clears throat> while it's still slow enough to ease Buddy's pace of growing on ease, the distance between the boat and the pot is stagnant. Big word. Hmm. That pot is either really fast, or the waves today are drifting in farther and farther out. It further and further out. Come on, you blasted oars. Let's step on it. I knew I should have brought the motorboat instead. <laughs> Are you okay, buddy? You don't look so well. That <laughs> poor bunny's crying! <laughs> I, I, I'm fine, just a bit dizzy. <laughs> I didn't know sailing was this wobbly. Should we head back? We can still get to the docks quickly. <clears throat> I'm alright, you need help getting that pot. After all, it's dangerous to go alone. And just with and with just two people. It's dangerous to go alone, take this. <laughs> You look out at sea, you feel bad for dragging both of these animals into your problems. They both have work to do, you're sure of it, but they, here they are, helping you instead. Seems we're picking up some pace. You alright, lass? Don't worry, we'll get you pot soon enough. I'm okay, thank you for helping me out. Don't worry about it, yar har. You look down, noticing a fishing rod and a single letter left on the bottom uh, of the boat. <clears throat> there is a bait box and an emergency kit underneath Buddy's seat as well. As the boat sails on, the oars splashing to a steady beat, you speak up. Um, hmm. Did someone leave this letter? Did someone leave this letter? Oh, <laughs> I didn't leave it behind. This is this one is addressed to the captain. I brought it with me when I came here to meet her. It's for it's from someone far up in the north. Oh, I see. It must be lots of work being a mail mad a mail bun. <laughs> There's so much work to do, and you need to run around a lot. Uh huh. There is, but that's what makes it fun. I'm going. <clears throat> I like going around meeting everyone. I've been to some of the neighbor uh, neighboring countries too. And at the end of the day, I can rest at home. It's a dream it's a dream job for me, to be honest. Haha. <laughs> God, I'm so sick of the haha's. Plus, I can get all the stamps I want. <laughs> ah, sounds very convenient, huh? <laughs> <laughs> but I think it's harder to be sailor sailor. Seller. <laughs> God damn it. Take your time. Sailor. Sailor than a male bun. Huh, yeah, the captain's got it tough. Hey, it ain't all all sweat and tears. Wasn't expecting the ain't. <laughs> <laughs> A few minutes of quiet pass by. We're never gonna catch it at this rate. Hmm. Excuse me, I have an idea. A plan? I've got a plan! <laughs> Please do tell. <laughs> Let's send oh. it a letter? No. Let's fish it out. Yeah. Let's fish it out. <laughs> fish it out? Yar, that's a good plan. You're on board with the ocean's best crab fisher. Jesus Christ, this crab is a cannibal. <laughs> you bend down and pick up the fishing rod that was sitting on the bottom of the rowboat. You hold it out for the captain. Now this is what I be talking about. I've sailed the seas for many years, and I've caught all sorts of creatures. There she goes. <laughs> the captain waves her claw, and the fishing rod throws its line. For the way I read it, I thought that she threw the fishing rod into the ocean. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? <laughs> it narrowly misses the cooking pot, who jerks forward by a sudden wave. She reels in the line and throws it out again. And it misses. And again. Ah! This pot is making me look like a fool! <laughs> I don't think this is gonna work anytime soon. It was worth a shot. At least the captain ended up catching some fish, so it wasn't all bad. <laughs> a small, helpless... <laughs> 
for sardine. A small helpless sardine flops on the bottom of the boat as Buddy tries to catch it. But we ain't fishing here, we're trying to catch that cooking pot. I'm much better at fishing, I swear. God dang scurvy dog. It's okay, Captain. I don't think anyone has tried to hook a cooking pot before. After all, this is rather... Buddy squeamishly picks up the sardine and quickly throws it back into the ocean. Fishy situation! (laughs) (laughs) Ah! Ooh, a pun bun. It wasn't even that smart. The captain reels in the fishing hook and drops it on the floor. Anyway, it's all good. Anything is worth trying in times of hardship. Even if that hardship is trying to get a bowl that swims like the devil. (laughs) How come it's swimming this far anyway? I don't know. It's just trying to get away from me, I think. Jump out of the boat and let them catch it then. Right. But I have no idea why it's going into the ocean. Hmm. Maybe it's just trying to swim across the ocean just to get me hat. Yeah, okay, Captain Crab. What on earth? Yeah, we were talking about it just as you came by. She left her hat in another place and wished she could go get it back. Arr, that I did, but I didn't mean it in a serious way. Even if it did get there, it wouldn't be able to do anything. I never said where it was or how it got lost. Then why is it going there anyway? I don't even know why it ran away in the first place. Your mind wanders back to earlier this morning, when the day started out calm and quiet in your house. Maybe I said some things that were pretty rude. The cooking pot had run away right as you mentioned how useless it was. Perhaps it was just it just had been waiting inside the closet, hoping that someone would take it out and just use it again. Maybe it feels like it has nowhere to go. <gasps> That's it! I'm going in! (laughs) What? Hey, what are you... Please wait here for me. I'll bring the pot back myself. Whoa, whoa, wait, wait! I'm sure there's another way... Asyndra! Last stop! Rip. (laughs) (laughs) Rip in peace. With (laughs) With no time to lose, you jump straight into the ocean and swim. Hey, come back. You're going to sink if you keep swimming like this. You reach out and hug the pot for dear life, grabbing onto the handles. Grabbing onto the handles. (sighs) Sorry. You can feel it begin to turn and twist, trying to get you loose. Wait, little pot. You'll never be able to help the captain this way. It's too dangerous. And also... I- I'm sorry for calling you useless, and for saying you don't belong anywhere. It must have been lonely being in the closet, forgotten and ignored. A wave splashes into the both of you, causing you to cling closer to the pot and cough. I'm sorry, little pot. Please come back and... We'll find you something to do, without having to swim across the ocean. Oh, excuse me. You feel the cooking pot stop twisting in your hands, and now you both are bobbing up and down just by the lull of the ocean waves. Holding onto the pot, you turn to try and find the rowboat, only to see the boat and the shores farther out than before. You can barely see them, and the waves are getting larger. Were, were we really this far out? Were we really this far out? Oh no, this is bad. You can feel your body getting colder from being in the water for so long. You're ill-prepared to be swimming this much, and with the adrenaline leaving your body, you can feel- You can feel yourself getting exhausted and worried. Your feet can't touch anything, and every time the water rises higher than your neck, you become anxious. I can swim, but I've never swam in the ocean before. You can see the cooking pot's legs begin to scramble on the water. It looks like it's trying to swim, but with you holding on to it, it's not going to be moving anywhere soon. For a moment, you're afraid that the pot will try to set, uh, set you loose and swim on its own, but its, le- legs keep sp- <clears throat> but its legs keep flailing, determined to move the two of you somewhere. Oh, You think. Huh? huh? 
The cooking pot starts to tremble, and you feel your arms on its handles are moving in the, on their own. The cooking pot is slowly changing. It becomes long, longer and longer. Soon, it becomes the size of a bathtub. You heave yourself inside of it, despite the pot uh, still being partially full of water. You feel safer than being inside of it, than drifting alone at sea. Thank you, cooking pot. Or I guess, cooking boat? Cooking boat pot? <laughs> you see the cooking pot bo- cooking pot boats like- god damn it. <laughs> you see the cooking pot boat's legs are starting to waddle again, trying to fruitlessly swim again now that, you, uh, that you're safely in it. Despite your help, you are still left to the mercy of the waves. You turn and wave at the captain and buddy, who are still quite a ways away from you. Yahoo! We're over here! <laughs> They're bound to reach us sometime, right? <gasps> as, if mo- um, as if more couldn't happen to your drastic situation, you can feel something strange happening to the water around you. Sharks! Oh god. Wh- what's happening now? What? Ah! Magic. A oh. whale shark! Well, that's oh, even Jesus. worse than... A whale shark had jumped out of the water just a few feet away, sending you and the cooking pot both flying backwards with the, with the waves. Ah. <laughs> the cooking pot boat is full of water, and you can see its little legs, its legs flail... Uh, flail helplessly against the water and foam. You cling to the side of the boat, totally soaked, but you can't help but laugh. That was awesome. <laughs> Not only that, but the cooking pot is now... The p- cooking pot boat is now adrift in the water, ho- uh, heading back towards sh- the shore. Ahoy, lass! Turning around, and despite the salt water stinging your eyes, you squint and see the rowboat is much closer. Grab this! A string comes out of the boat towards you, and you reach out and grab it before you can register what it is. It's a fishing hook. Aha! You tie the fishing hook to one of the cooking pot boat's handles and wave back at the rowboat. We're reeling in, so sit tight. Why? Okay. Land ho! (laughs) We're, We're finally on land! Wait, wait, wait. Cooking pot, stop. We're still attached to the rowboat. <laughs> oh, the boat's dragging us on land. Stop walking, please. You and the cooking pot, now at its regular size, are lying down on the beach, basking in the warm sun. The captain has given you a small towel to dry yourself off with while, uh, while, fumble- while is fumbling around with the rowboat. Buddy, who looks even more exhausted than you, is humming and checking all the parcels and letters that he left on the beach during your escape. Escapade. Escapade, thanks. <clears throat> Looking up at the cloudless sky, you can finally relax. Hmm. You're gonna be taking this pot to your home, right, lass? Hmm, yeah, definitely. To our home. I think I'm dry enough now, too, so you can take your towel back and we'll be off. Ah, thanks, but while you're out here, why don't you go clamming first? What? Clamming? Oh, like fishing for clams. Yar, but you fish for fish and you clam for clams. Oh my god. You don't fish for clams. You okay? Oh, I see. But it's the same thing, right? (laughs) Well, you don't need a fishing hook, first of all. There... There's a good place down the beach that you can go clamming. You can borrow a clam shovel for the little shack there. From the little shack there. And some more towels and bring home some fresh clams to cook. Oh, nice. We can make a big pot of clam chowder. Oh, that sounds good. You could probably make a meal uh, that could last weeks with that pot. (laughs) 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 I kind of want to do like the the laughs as like deadpan. As possible. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's been quite an afternoon, so I'm gonna try to get to work now, too. I'm glad you could get the cooking pot. For sure. Sorry for interrupting your work, and thank you. If you happen to deliver mail to my house, feel free to stay over for some chow. Haha. Ha. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> you and the captain wave as Buddy hops back down the road. 
Bye! I'll be heading off too, lass. Gotta bring back this here robo to me ship and continue on. <laughs> to the me ship? I'll be heading up north soon, so I gotta prepare. Oh, I see. Thank you so much again for... Yar har, don't worry about it, lass. A captain is always happy to help when she can. You take care now. Hope we can meet again another time. Take care, Captain Crab. Well, I think I'm feeling pretty dry now. We can finally go home. But, if you're not tired, do you want to go get some clams? The pod doesn't seem to be tired at all. It must be excited to do something. <laughs> okay. Let's go fish <laughs> for clams. <laughs> fish for Great. clams. He's just Pretty... gotten taught the bat, and it's not what you do. You're clamming for clams. Yeah. Starting by bringing home a bundle of clams, the cooking pot becomes part of the family. It becomes the go-to pot for making soups and pastas, and the food you make with it can last the whole can last you a whole week. Clam chow ending. Yay! Oh, that was it. Okay, I need huh. to find out who the author of this was. Okay. So, thank you for watching. Uh, this was a chase in Rainsville by Laughing Bear. Um, Max, do you have anything left to say? Nothing nice to say, so no. Aww, I thought it was really <laughs> cute. Well, no, I mean, like, the game was cute, yes. Okay. I, 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 was, I was just going to end on a different note. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so, I love you. Bye-bye.